Hey guys, what's up? Uh, this is G from BeatSkills and Tone Empire. Very interesting topic today, the Apple Silicon M1 chip. So as you've been seeing that YouTube has been flooded with videos about the M1 and people are talking about its performance and all of that. But I don't think anyone's made a video from a developer point of view, uh, especially for audio plugins. So I hope I'm the first person <laughs> to do that. Uh, even if I'm not, uh, at least this information is important. And I think uh, a lot of you are curious as to, is this the right time to upgrade to an M1? There's a good news today that I want to share. And that is that I've already compiled uh, one of our uh, plugins called the Black Q, the Tone Empire Black Q, to work natively with the M1. So if you are using an M1, you've just got your machine and you've got Logic Pro, which is the only DAW as far as today, uh, which is natively built on the M1. So what does natively uh, built mean? Natively built means that the code has been compiled on this new architecture M1 chip. As you know that this chip is completely different than the Intel or the AMD. It does not have the same instructions. So of course, if you're writing software, you have to write it specifically for a particular chip. Since this chip has a different architecture and is of course very, very, very efficient as we've all seen, the code has to be built natively for it to perform the best. So, so far uh, Logic Pro, which is also of course owned by Apple, has been released uh, for the M1 chip, which is great. Uh, so we personally were able to build an AU or audio units version of our plugin called Black Q uh, for this. So I'm gonna show you some tests and I and I also did a test with the, the natively built Black Q working on Logic Pro and also the non-natively, that is the Intel one, uh, which is working on Logic Pro. To my surprise, the difference in terms of CPU usage was not much. I don't know about other manufacturers, but as far as we are concerned, uh, as you can see, uh, the CPU usage on the screen right now is is very comparable like between the two. It's not like a world of difference. You run our plugins specifically, the Tone Empire and BeatSkills plugins uh, in Logic Pro right now. They, they should work perfectly and give less usage of CPU and RAM and, and work quite optimally, even if they're not built for the M1 or they're not native to the silicon chip. I loaded another software which is Ableton Live, which is not natively built. And as you can see, uh, it will not recognize the M1 build for the Black Cube plugin. Why? Because Ableton is running the x86 architecture, which is the Intel architecture. So it's not going to be able to recognize any plugin built in the new M1 chip architecture, right? So sounds a bit confusing, but some of you who are technical might get what I'm trying to say. Soon, uh, hopefully the DAW developers will catch up and uh, bring native builds to the Apple M1 and subsequent lines of uh, processors from Apple. Uh, I do not recommend that uh, you update to the M1 chip unless you're using BeatSkills or Tone Empire plugins. Uh, and if you're just a Logic Pro user, uh, because uh, with Ableton, the performance did completely like go away. Like it was very poor. It was running pretty much at, at uh, an additional 50% CPU load and the plugins were taking much more resources than they should. But in Logic, because that's a native build, everything was working super fast and uh, probably better uh, performing than the general 86 chips. So sounds a little confusing, but um, that's what it is. I also wanted to announce our new version of Black Q, specially built for the M1 chip, which is AU. And this is for you guys to download. Whoever owns uh, any version of the Black Q gets this for free. Uh, if you've just bought the M1 and don't have any plugins working, this is one that will work, which you can download from our Tone Empire site. As far as third party other companies are concerned, I cannot guarantee how their software will run. Uh, but as you can see from our tests, even when I'm running CPU intensive, processing with the 2x oversampling or 4x or 8x uh, it's performing really really good with the m1 and even compared to our x86 build both inside logic are working great so apple really has uh, built something amazing and is on to something uh, which is a great future for apple and uh, we hope to of course catch up and develop and be there first for you guys give you the updates so that uh, once you get these machines you aren't lagging behind. So again, this is Gaurav signing out and uh, I'll make more videos on these updates. And uh, of course, there will be more plugin talks about some new plugins coming out on Tone Empire and BeatSkills. I'll see you guys next time.